acting since you were five. Yes. Um, but this is your first leading role in Motherland Fort Salem um, and your first acting credit. Does this all feel like a dream come true for you? Yes, it's, um, it's so amazing. God has truly blessed me. Um, I don't know. I, I say it's like just the beginning for me. I know it's like a huge beginning, but um, I know God has a lot in store. So, yes, he does. He does, definitely. So you play Abigail Bellwether, mm -hmm. um, a driven, ambitious, empowered witch. Tell us about how you connected with this character. Like, what did you do to, you know, make sure that Ashley left and you were straight on Abigail for this role? Yeah, so I'm actually, Ashley didn't really leave because Abigail and Ashley are very like this, like okay. through and through. Um, okay. I'd say I'm not as big of a queen bee as Abigail is, uh -huh. but um, I don't know. We're we're very very similar in a sense of um, you know Abigail. She does have pressure from her mom. That's not how we're similar, but she also puts pressure on herself, right. and I tend to do that. Um, and she's definitely a perfectionist um, and doesn't want to fail. So yeah, me actually right there. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love in Motherland that the roles are reversed, the gender roles. Mm -hmm. uh, why was it important to show gender roles being reversed? Like what you would normally see a, a men doing in a show, we see the women being very empowered, very strong, and very taking on what we normally would see a man do. Why was that important to show? Yeah, I think, I don't know. I think it's so important for women to be on the front lines right. in our show. Um, I don't know. I just think you know, back in the day, it was very, women can just be like a housewife and mm. take care of the kids and cook. And right. now the men are taking care of the kids in our show and they're building our weapon. So I just think, I don't know, it's important to show that we can be in charge and we can lead as well. Right. Um, and that we have a voice and you can't shut us up. So no. Yeah. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of shutting up, I love you guys this poster or your billboard yeah you guys are like <laughs> we have something to say and we're gonna say it i love mm -hmm. that um hell be hell beltane last week in last week's episode i think that was the title of it girl that was that was pretty racy <laughs> like, yeah <laughs> again it shows the roles being reversed mm -hmm. how was it filming that scene were you at all nervous and for those who haven't seen it you have to go catch up before today yeah you, <laughs> you, you have to you have to tune in to see yeah what I'm talking about yeah um it was it was very empowering mm -hmm. um I am not like that how Abigail <laughs> was um I I wasn't nervous which was kind of strange to me I going into it I thought I was going to be like um, super reserved about it but mm -hmm. we had an intimacy coach and um, the boys that I was with I knew them for I worked with them for about two weeks okay. so I got very comfortable with them okay. um, so I wasn't nervous at all which was so weird and I was just <laughs> like I that was one of the things I like snapped into Abigail real quick so okay. like those were like I put Ashley away, and it was just like, Abigail's here, and she's ready to take charge. I mean, you took charge. Yeah. I have. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so your superpower is similar to that of Storm, right? Mm -hmm. um, if you could have your own superpower, if Ashley Nicole could have her own superpower, what would it be? I'd say teleportation, so I could be, like, anywhere I wanted, just like that. Okay. Um, and definitely reading people's minds because you never know what's going on in there. That's a good one. Yeah. I would like to know that too. Yeah, right? I'm just yeah. like, hmm, what are you? What are you thinking what, about what are you me? thinking? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> what's going on in there? Yeah. Right. That's a good one. Okay, Ashley, what will viewers expect from tonight's show? Okay, so say the people haven't seen it. The people that are watching this, they haven't seen the show. Yeah. They need to go and catch up though if you haven't seen it what mm -hmm. can they expect from tonight's episode ah <sighs> tonight is mayhem oh honestly. wow um yeah you won't expect everything that you think is going to happen uh -huh. is not going to happen um there are a lot of twists and turns i'm trying to say things without giving things away <laughs> um 
it's a wedding. There's a wedding, mm-hmm. right? Oh, okay. um, yes, it's my cousin's wedding. Yes. So, you know, I have to invite my unit, Tally and Rael, and my mother's orders. Um, so they're meeting all of the bellwethers, my five fathers. Um, I know five fathers. Little, they're looking <laughs> wow. like home. What? Yes. Yeah. Bye, fathers. Um, yes, and it's it's a wild ride. It's everything that a wedding should not be and more. <laughs> okay, so we will definitely be tuned in. So everybody, yeah. make sure you tune in. Yes. Um, Ashley, you're currently in your last semester. You're about to graduate. Yay! Yay! Congratulations <laughs> from Thank Baylor. Yes. Um, tell us. A lot of people would say, "Hey, I'm on a hit show. I." degree I don't need it I'm good I'm already in my career why was this so important for you to finish what you started with your degree I think that an education is so so vital and important I think one thing that someone can't take away from you is your education right um and I'm a big believer of finishing what I start um I don't I don't know I I just think you know, my parents went to Baylor, so it was like like a family thing, like I'm going to graduate from my parents' alma mater as well. Right. Um, I just, being able, I also want to write, right? And yes. direct, and that's what my degree is in. Mm-hmm. So I do believe that doing things hands-on is like amazing to right. do, um, but also having that degree, I feel like kind of just gives me a little leg up. Right. Um, so I just... I wanted to wanted to finish what I started and having accomplished so much and doing that at the same time, I just think um, it wasn't an option for me. I think that's where God was leading me all along and that's what I'm doing. I love it. I mean, I think that that's a good, you're a good example for women and young girls get your age that are like, okay, I'm in school, but I really want to just jump into my career because now with social media, it's, very easy to become rich and famous overnight, right? And so I I love that, although you're on a hit show, you're still committed to your degree. Are you going to be able to walk across the stage? Are they going to have a ceremony or what? So not in May because of the virus. Um, Our president of Baylor, President Livingstone, was saying maybe in August. Okay. uh, If it's cleared up and if not August. Your birthday month. My birthday month, yes. yes. Um, if not August, then December. So I'm praying at some point I'll get to walk because it's such a huge accomplishment, especially, you know, filming the show and then going back and filming right. school. So, um, yeah, at some point, which is fine. Well, you, you're getting the degree, so that's what's important. That, yeah. So either way, congratulations to you on Thank that. You. What kind of roles would you like to take on next? You're so good at this. I can't believe this is your first leading role because you, oh, thank you. I mean, you do it so effortlessly. What would thank you like to you. do next? Um, I always say that I really want to do a Pixar movie because I'm like a Disney nerd. <laughs> um, so that's like one thing that I'd love to do. I don't know. I just, I want to, I hope Motherland goes on for seasons. Yes. And seasons and seasons and seasons. <laughs> um. But I, I just want to do, like, movies, like a cool action movie, Marvel, mm-hmm. Storm, I don't know, just, you know, all of the things. I could see it. I could see it. Do you have any upcoming projects that you want to tell us about? Um, Not right now. I'm just, you know, working more on the craft during the time and, of right. course, sending out self-tapes and stuff like that. Um, But just right now, I'm just honing in on my skills and things like that yes and having your hit show on tv every week so yeah which is crazy to even say (laughs) right um you're a bit of a fashion girl um i love it what's your go-to quarantine look quarantine look Um, (laughs) yeah what are you wearing in quarantine the day like when i'm wearing pants or not wearing pants is the question um no it's probably just like a oversized t-shirt honestly um and no pants but if my parents are like Ashley you need pants on and sweats just Dude. that's what I'm chilling out in just a really big shirt and comfy, yeah. comfy. Who's your, definitely comfy who's your inspiration in the industry who do you look to and say you want to 
not necessarily go in their same path, but you, they inspire you in what route you want to take. Yeah, I think um, Zendaya is a very, um, she describes that perfectly. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she not only like starred on Disney, but she like was an executive producer in her next Disney show. And then now on Euphoria and, you know, she's venturing into fashion and things like that. So I just think she's a really big model of not just staying in one bubble and mm -hmm. having people, you know, put you in a box. Right. Um, so I admire her for that a lot. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank and you. do you want to tell everybody what time they can tune in tonight for the show and where they can go? Yes. Um, you can tune in at 9 p.m. Um, and then that's on the East Coast and the West Coast. And then 8 p.m. Central on Freeform. And then on Hulu tomorrow. Yes, we'll be watching. Thank you so much, Ashley. All the blessings. Thank you. You are Thank a super